Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about finding slopes from an equation. So we're going to find the slope of each line. So if I was given this equation, y equals negative x plus 3. Okay? This one's semi tricky here. We first want to see if we can get it into our slope intercept form. And it is. It's our y equals our mx plus b. The key is identifying what the m value is and be careful. We see a negative out front. So many students will write oh, our slope, m equals a negative x. That's incorrect. What we can see is that there's an imaginary 1 in front of x. So when we see a, a, a letter by itself, we imagine there's an imaginary 1 that's written in front, but we don't always write that because it'd be silly. It's like writing like, oh, we have 1x when we already see 1x there. It's not the proper, proper way to write it. So really what this looks like is y equals a negative 1 times x plus 3. And that's where we have our m value. Now we can easily, more easily see our m value by itself isolated. And so we have our slope here of m equals a negative 1. And that's it. So let's recap. We're given y equals a negative x plus 3. We want to identify the slope. Now, I see it's in my slope intercept form, but some people might have a hard time seeing the m value. So we see that negative x is the same thing as negative 1 times x. So I rewrote that here being uh, y equals negative 1 times x plus 3. That better help me um, see the m value. Now, to be honest, I never use it. Most people never do that. They just see, okay, it's negative 1. But if you're learning this, it's a good way to really see what's going on there, that y equals a negative 1 times x instead of that uh, negative x out there. But we identify our slope here. Our slope is just negative 1. That's why we write it below, and m equals negative 1 is our final answer.